Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine, teacher. Very nice. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Carla. Good evening. Hi, how are you? How was your day? I'm okay. It was really good. I had a good day. So thank you. Uh, so are you still driving? Yes, I am driving. I, I, I will five minutes. I, I am, uh, I will in, right. the, in my house. I will arrive. You will arrive. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So uh, did you call in Glass Corporativo, Carla? Uh, yes, I sent in an email, but yeah. I don't recheck if All right. I receive answer. A, re a reply. Okay. So let's okay. continue waiting. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hi, Darwin. Hi, Darwin. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? It's uh, more expected. I uh, imagine I'm uh, expecting a lot from La Selecta. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I can see you have a Salvador shirt. Nice, very good. I don't have a, I, I want you to I want you to wear El Salvador shirt today, but I mean I have to be kind of formal somehow, okay, or casual at least. So I I, I can wear it. <laughs> okay. In this yeah. moment use the, the shirt. But I have blue. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Hi, Adriana. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, and you, teacher? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. I can see a baby boy next to you. Yes. Okay. The next. <laughs> next to you. Yes. Hello. Next to you. Hello. Uh, what's What's his name? Mateo. 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 Ah, Mateo, sorry. Hi, Mateo. Hi. How are you? Fine. Oh, very well. <laughs> All right. Hi, Ada Patricia. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Bye. Oh, nice. Well, we have uh, we have uh, other people. Se dice? Pendiente, pendiente del partido. <laughs> Pero voy a estar en clases, yeah. Voy a estar en clases y participando. <laughs> uh, I, I thought pen, pendiente de algo de hacer, de, es decir, de, de algo que tenía pendiente. No, Maybe pendiente de estar viendo el partido. <laughs> All right. Okay, you can say expecting a lot from the game. Expecting, yes. Expecting a lot. You can say I have expectations. Tengo expectativas. I have expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Pero no voy a estar participando. Oye, okay, perfect. Así. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, so we have an hello, Anna Michelle. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Not bad. I think oh. that's good. A little good. All right. Very good. Very good. That's excellent. So while well, I can see Sulma is connected to, but her camera is not on. Hi, Sulma. Hi, I'm here. Ah, you're, yeah, just getting home. Llegando a casa, getting home. Yes. Oh my goodness, I imagine. Okay, so we have Mayra connected to. Yeah, she's, she's here. Oh, she's Hi, driving. Hi, good evening. I'm driving Hello, to evening. home, teacher. All right, perfect. Hope you get better. You get you get home soon. We have yes. Lourdes, Asalia, and Jansi too. Okay, so uh, then we are going to start. Okay, um, waiting for the best of La Selecta, of course. Okay, waiting for the best of La Selecta. I have expectations. Believe me. Okay, I have expectations that today La Selecta is going to have a a positive result. Okay, so hopefully, eso esperamos. Hopefully, okay. Very good, so uh, let's start then. And well, uh, today we are going to start uh, with unit number two. Okay, today we start uh, unit number two. I don't know if you checked unit number two, 
What is the name of unit number two? Do you know? Any idea? You haven't checked. I'm not revisado. You haven't checked unit number two yet. Procedures. 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 Okay. What is procedures in Spanish? Procedimiento. Procedimientos. Yes, that's right. So um, unit number two is the name of unit number two is uh, procedures. Okay. Uh, so let's start and let me pass the attendance. Okay. Ada. Present. All right. Adriana. Present. Very good. Ana Michelle. Present. Okay. Angela. Present teacher. Darwin. Present teacher. All right. Present. Flor. <laughs> Flor. Not connected yet. Joanna. I saw Joanna noise lower this. Okay. Gloria. Teacher Lourdes. Here teacher. Okay. Ah, Lourdes. Here teacher. Okay, Lourdes. All right. No, I was confusing you with Joanna Lourdes. <laughs> All right. Margarita? Thank you. Okay. Mayra? Driving, right? Present, present teacher, yes. Okay, very good. Miguel? Hmm, Miguel is not connected. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson? Present. Very good. Ophelia? Here, teacher. Okay, that's excellent. Um, let me see here. Osmin? Not connected yet. Okay. Rafael? Present teacher. Oh, good it's evening. good to good evening. It's good to it's good to see you early, Rafael. <laughs> yes. All right, Sandra. Rosa, sorry. Rosa, first. Sandra. Jansi. Present. Very good. Sulma. Present. Asalia. Asalia. Melanie. I saw Asalia connected. Yeah, she's connected. Ingrid. And Susana. Okay, very good. Uh, so everybody, uh, welcome to this. Um, to this uh, session, I said that today we start uh, unit number two and the name of unit number two is uh, procedures, okay? And you know that for different things, we have different procedures, right? I mean, for different things we do, we have procedures. For example, um, when we prepare food, we have procedures, right? When we wash the dishes, we have procedures, okay? When we visit a customer, we have procedures, okay? In a restaurant, they have different procedures for different purposes, okay? So today, uh, the, the unit for today and for this week, for these two weeks, because uh, unit number two is for two weeks, okay? So for this, um, for this specific section, you have two weeks to complete this section, okay? Oh my goodness, two weeks, all right? Tienen dos semanas para completar esta sección, okay? So this section is two weeks. I don't know if you know, but this, um, this, Module is five weeks. Este módulo dura cinco semanas, okay? This module is five weeks, okay? So just reminding you, ya les había dicho, solo recordando, just reminding you. Okay, so uh, just let's check quickly what we studied uh, yesterday. Uh, do you remember what we studied yesterday? What did we study yesterday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, teacher. Uh, ah, we studied. Cool and like. Ah, cool, cool and and my want and my like. Okay, cool, my, my like, want my and my like. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And you were writing some sentences, right? And today, you are supposed to read the sentences for the class. All right. Tienen las las oraciones a mano. Yes. Oh, yes, teacher. All right. So basically, we said that we use could to make suggestions, okay? And we use my one or my like to make polite suggestions, okay? Para hacer sugerencias, pero de forma educada, to make polite suggestions, okay? Imagine I say, for example, oh my God, I have a problem with my cell phone. 
I have a problem with my cell phone. Uh, if you are my friend, you can tell me, oh, but you could um, take the cell phone to, uh, I mean, to a specialist. You, you could, okay? You could take your cell phone to a specialist. You are my friend. But imagine, imagine um, what? I, I mean, I don't like to, to use this word, but imagine I am your boss. So it's, it's, I mean, you have to be more respectful and more, and more polite, okay? So, and I say, hey, listen, uh, I have problems with this cell phone. And then you tell me, hey, Bernardo, uh, you might want to take it uh, to a specialist. You might want to take it to a specialist because you want to sound polite. Porque en este caso quieren sonar como más respetuoso, más educados, okay? So you might like or you might want to take it to a specialist, okay? So this is the, the difference between could, my one and my like. Could to make suggestions, like in general. My one and my like to make polite suggestions, okay? Very good. So considering this, uh, this is just to, 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 to remind, okay? to remember, sorry, to remember uh, yesterday's content. Uh, listen, I, I have some problems, okay? I will tell you about my problems and you can give me some suggestions. I repeat. I will tell you about my problems and you will give me suggestions using could, my one or my like, okay? Yeah? All right. I am in my office. Listen to the context, okay? I am in my office and I have a problem with my computer. I am in my office and I have a problem with my computer. I need a suggestion using, okay, Adriana, you could? You could. Llevar. Take. You could take, take the computer in the department. E Informatica. No. Okay, technology. You can take technology department or the technology IT department. department. To the IT department. Okay, thank you very much. Any other suggestion? Me. Okay, you Michelle. might want, yes, you might want to be. Is it uh, IT department? Okay, that's very good. You might want to visit the IT department. I like it. That's excellent. One more suggestion. One more suggestion. Using could, my one or my like, okay? Just remember, recuerden que después del could, my one or my like, usamos otro verbo. We use another verb, okay? Yeah? So any other suggestion for my problem? No more suggestions. Okay, I have another problem. Um, in the company, okay, listen to the context, okay? In the company, we have financial problems. In the company, we have financial problems or issues. What do you suggest? In my company, we have financial problems. Yeah, I'm listening to you. You could, uh, you could make uh, some audits All to right. improve your issues. I, I like it, okay? So you can make some audits to improve the issues, all right? Good, yeah, that, that would be good. Okay, that's excellent. Any other suggestion that you can give me? Contract uh, a specialist. A specialist. Financial. Uh -huh. Yeah, a financial analyst. A financial, financial analyst. analyst. Okay, so repeat it, please, but using financial analyst. You could contract a financial analyst. Okay, that's excellent. I like it. Okay, so do you have more suggestions for this problem or no more suggestions? No. Okay. I have another problem, okay? Uh, in the company, we have communication problems between, I mean, among employees. We have communication problems among employees. We have communication problems, like communication problems among employees. What do you suggest?
I repeat, we have communication problems in my company. What, among employees, what do you suggest? Yeah. No suggestions? No suggestions? No. Hey, me. Okay, okay, let's see Adriana and then who? Me, Anna. Okay, and then Anna, all right. You could make the trainings for um, best um, the communication. For better communication. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. Okay, uh, I could make a training for better communication. Okay, I like it. Michelle? Uh, you, you might want to make uh, more or meetings with your with your employees okay i like it you might want to make more meetings with the employees all right very good and to talk about the topic right okay that's excellent now let me see i guess i have another problem oh yeah the, the, i have a question here and for this question i need suggestions okay using could my one or my like the question here is uh how can i hire how can I, imagine I work in human resources, I work in HR, human resources. How can I hire talented people for my company? How can I contract or hire talented people for my company? How can I hire, hire is contratar, hire talented people for my company? You could interview uh, to the applicants. Uh, candidates. Candidates. Applicant. Ah, yes. yes, candidates. 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 You could interview different candidates. All oh, right, very good. Different candidates. Yeah. Any other suggestion for this? No more. No more suggestions? No? That's it? Okay, now, um, well, thank you very much. Okay, uh, I know it's not very easy to think very quickly in English and I understand you, don't worry, okay? Uh, so thank you for your participation for the people who participated. And now, uh, yesterday you were writing some sentences, okay? You were writing some sentences using my one, my like, and could, okay? So uh, let's listen to, um, let me see, Rafael. Can you share uh, at least two sentences, please? De las que hicieron ayer, from the sentences you wrote yesterday. Las que hicieron de último, the ones you write, you wrote at the end. Only, Sorry? only. Okay, okay, just to remind you, okay, uh, the, the idea was that the menu was changed, right? Remember, that was the, the, the topic, okay? The menu was changed with better dishes, but no people come to the restaurant, okay? So you were supposed to think about some promotional activities, okay? So, Rafael, and you were supposed to write the sentences, right, about these promotional activities to attract people to the restaurant. That was the idea. Esa era la idea. That was the idea, okay? Uh, the, mic the, the microphone. The microphone. Only write the suggestion. Um, specific. Sorry. I don't. I don't. On. I don't. I don't make the um, sentences complete. Okay. Okay. Only the only the su su suggestion. Can you read please the suggestion as you have right. it? Como la tienes. Number one, uh, you could pay for advertising on social networks. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Another one, please. Two, uh, you could advertise on television. Okay, that's excellent. Only two. It's okay. Thank you very much. That's excellent. Uh, Rafael, can you select a classmate, please, to share? Okay. Let me see. Carla. Okay, just before Carla participates, 
I think Carla, I don't know if Carla is still driving, no, right? Antes de que, de que sigamos con Carla, okay, before we continue with Carla, um, please, por favor, lo de las cámaras, eh, si no estamos, ahorita creo que no estamos revisando el material, ¿verdad? Eh, si estamos en la clase, si es necesario que tengamos siempre la cámara encendida, por favor, okay, please, 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 all right? So, please do me the favor. Okay, Carla, uh, can you please uh, share your sentences? Two, two examples. Okay, the, the exercise seven. Yes, the, the last activity from yesterday. Las oraciones que no compartieron ayer de último. The sentences you didn't share yesterday. Oh, I think her screen is frozen. I think she has connection problems. Okay, in the meantime, Hi. Leslie's. Oh, hello, Carla. Hi. Uh, the exercise seven is true? Yes, exactly. It's the, it's the last exercise. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, the, the restaurant could have a social network with the promotion of the day. Okay, very good. Another example, please. They rest, um, the restaurant could have a live presentation music day on the weekend. Oh, nice. I like it. Very good. Thank you very much, Carla. Can you select somebody, please, to share? Um, uh, Angie. Okay, Angela. Two examples, please. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Um, to eat all you can promotion. Okay. Um, the food after the live music. Uh, you could offer live music in the restaurant. Okay, very good. Yes, That's excellent. They could have to the promotion of the birthday eat free. Okay, that's excellent. I like that promotion. Yes. <laughs> that's excellent. Very good. Good activities. Angela, select somebody to share, please. Um, Sandrita. Hello, hey. Sandrita. Hello, Sandra. <laughs> You are sharing the examples in this moment, Sandra. So can you share two examples you have, please? The microphone, Sandra. No estuve en la clase de ayer, teacher. Oh, no yeah. Ah, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Select somebody else, please. Angela. Um, Adrianita. Okay. <laughs> Only okay. two, Adriana. Okay. Eh, you could make commercial ah, on television, pero que ya lo dijeron, lo siento. Eh, could offer on weekend two for one promotion. Okay. And could offer, you could offer a refill of drinks. A refill of drinks, I like it. Okay, that's very good. Excellent. Select a boy, please. A boy. <laughs> Nelson. All right. Let's listen to Nelson. Uh, Nelson, you were not in the class yesterday, right? Okay. Entonces, Darwin. Okay, Darwin was in the class. Okay, let's listen to Darwin. Okay, number one, the restaurant might want to have pet-friendly area. Okay, that's good. I like it. And the other? The other, the restaurant might want to have a boy promotional event in the holiday. Yeah, okay, that's good. Promotional events in the holiday. I like it. That's pretty good. That's excellent. Now, uh, let's see. One more participation, and then we go to the next activity. Okay, Darwin, select somebody, please, for a last participation. Yes. Anybody, boy or girl, it doesn't matter. Uh, Joanna. Okay, Joanna, are you ready? Hi, Joanna. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's listen to Joanna. Two examples, uh, please. Number three. Sorry? Three examples. Two examples, three. only two. Two. Okay. The manager could give discount vouchers to the customer for the next visit. Okay, vouchers or flyers? Vouchers. Vouchers, okay. 
Continue, please. Uh, number two, the manager might like to concert or different celebrations at the oh. restaurant. Oh, they might have concerts. They might like to have concerts or other celebrations, okay? Very good, yeah. I like it. That's excellent, okay. thank you very much. Now, please, everyone, uh, go to reactions and let's give everybody, I mean, the participations a wow, all right? Let's give participations a wow. So go to reactions and let's give a wow to participations, please. Thank you very much for your kind participation, all right? Okay, very good. Now, uh, for the next activity, I have a question, okay? Just before we, uh, we, we start the unit, I have a question. Um, what is a procedure? For you, how do you define the word procedure? What is a procedure? Steps to follow. Steps to follow. <laughs> oh, steps to follow. Yeah, these are different steps to, to follow. That's correct. Okay, what else can you say about procedures? In the group, the steps for, for a main um, activity. Okay, uh, a group of steps for an activity. Yeah, that's that's the point. Okay, the step in, in 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 order. In a systematic order. That's right. That's important. Okay, order. Okay, order. That's very good. That's excellent. Uh, now, yeah, basically a procedure is a series of steps for something for a process. Okay, a series of steps for a process. Okay, that's a procedure. I'm saying this because the unit uh, number two is called procedures. Okay. Now I will share something quickly. Okay. So I want you uh, to, take a, to take a moment and look. I want you to take a moment and look at this picture, okay? And the, the question here is, what comes into your mind when you look at the picture? What comes into your mind when you see the picture? ¿Qué le viene a la mente cuando miran la imagen? Take a moment, take two minutes and think. Take two minutes and think. What comes into your mind when you see this picture? So take two a minutes and think, oh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay, don't tell me yet. Take two minutes and think. Tomen dos minutos y piensen. And make a sentence, please. Formulate a sentence or, a, or a, an answer. Formulen una respuesta. Formulate an answer. Okay, take two minutes. The question is, what comes into your mind? Okay, are you ready? So the question is, what comes into your mind when you see this uh, picture, okay? So please, if you have the answer, or if you want to answer the question, raise your hand. Go to reactions and raise your hand, okay? Go to reactions and raise your hand. Okay, Anna Michelle first, okay? Okay, Anna Michelle, what comes into your mind when you see this picture? I see waiters, uh, 
customer service yeah. and biosafety standards. Yeah, biosafety and standards. And happy customers. All right. Yes. I like it. Very good. That's excellent. Okay. Any other opinion? What comes into your mind when you see this picture is the question. So, si quieren contestar, van a reacciones y levantan su mano. Go to reactions and raise your hand. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you very much. Okay, let's listen to Rosa and then we listen to Darwin. Okay, Rosa, what comes into your mind when you see this picture? The, uh, I can hear you, Rosa. We can hear you. I don't know if it's only me. No sé si soy solo yo que no le escucha a Rosa. No, no se escucha. No. Okay, in the meantime, mientras Rosa arregla el problema, let's listen to Darwin. Okay, Darwin, uh, what comes into your mind when you see this picture, Darwin? I think the family are need more food. The family needs more food. More food. More food, okay. Yeah, that's right, it's perfect. Good, and now let's listen to Rafa in the meantime. Okay, Rafa, so what comes into your mind when you see this photo? Uh, uh, good friends. Um, uh, drinks. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Drinks. Yeah. The woman see the the guys and and he think. All uh, right. Como digo, así era yo antes. I was like that. I was like that. Like that. I was like that. Oh my goodness. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Rafa, do you think uh, they have a good service in the restaurant? I think yes. Yes. According to the picture, yes, right? Okay. Thank you very much. So, Rosa, are you ready? Thank you, Rafa. Yes. Now, can you? Yes. Hear me? Yeah. Now we can hear you. Okay. okay. I I think that uh, there are people celebrating something, enjoying, sharing, and um, the waitress is uh, oh. the waiter. Sorry, ah, the waiter is uh, with the biosecurity. Biosecurity. Medidas. Ah, uh, measures. Measures. Ah, measures. Measures. Yes. Yes. Uh, the, way, the waiter is, is uh, complying. Complying. Complying with? <laughs> complying. It's compliant with the biosecurity measures. Measures, okay, or protocol. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, thank you very much, Rosa, and thank you, everybody, for your participation. Now, a question. Um, who do you think is the person in the back of the waiter? Who do you think in the company? Do you think he is a customer or he has a position in the restaurant? The person behind the waiter, the bald man, the bald, okay, the bald man, the man with no hair behind the waiter. What do you think? Maybe. Uh, maybe? A supervisor. Supervisor. Maybe he is a supervisor. He's wearing the same shirt as the waiter, right? He's wearing the same shirt as the waiter. All right, very good. Maybe he is a supervisor. Okay, thank you very much. I like this activity because uh, you can give your own ideas about these uh, kind of things, okay? Now let's go to a discussion part and taking into account that a procedure is about steps, steps, different steps. Adriana says order, order of steps, right? I think, okay, good. So taking this into account, we are going to answer the following questions, okay? And the questions are, Okay, so the questions are, okay, let me show you here. The questions are, um, are procedures in a restaurant important? You say, yes, they are or no, they aren't. Is a customer's experience, the experience in the restaurant of a customer, right? Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, no, and explain, okay? So for number two, just know and explain, okay? So let's take five minutes and answer the two questions, please. Let's take five minutes and answer the two questions. The questions are on page number 17. 
on your notebook, okay? En su cuaderno, on your notebook, please. ¿Cómo se traduciría la segunda pregunta? Es la experiencia de un cliente en un restaurante, ok, la experiencia que tiene cuando va a visitar. ¿Es la experiencia de un cliente en un restaurante afectada por, un, por los procedimientos? Okay. ¿O por un procedimiento? Uh -huh. I mean, the procedures in the restaurant, right? Los procedimientos en el restaurante, the procedures in the restaurant.
Okay, are you ready or you need more time? Ready or need more time? Need more time? Yes, no? No, you don't need more time. What about the others? Adriana says no, she's ready. And the others, are you ready? Angela, still working? Uh, still working. Uh, yes. I'll... One yeah. minute? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll give you one more minute, okay? To finish. In one minute, we start with the discussion, okay? So one Thank more you. minute. Thank you. Okay. Gol del Salvador. Yeah. Yeah. Bravo, bravo. Es verdad. Yeah. ¿Es en serio? ¿Es en serio? ¿Es en serio? Yeah. Sí, Gol del Salvador. Sí, yeah. Yeah. Way to go. ¿Quién lo hizo? ¿Quién lo hizo, Darwin? Eh, Enrico Dueñas dice algo. Enrico Dueñas. Enrico Dueñas. Primer goal, oh my goodness. Qué bueno. Yeah. I'm really happy because of that. Yes, yeah. Very good. I like it. Okay, are you ready? I know you have a lot of emotion in this moment, but <laughs> but we have to continue, right? And I am and I am very excited too. Okay, believe me, I am very happy too. Okay, thank you for informing Darwin. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, very good. So uh, we are going to uh, start then uh, with the discussion. Okay, the questions are on page number um seventeen. All right, the questions are on page number uh, seventeen. So uh, question number one is, okay, let me show them again here. Are procedures in a restaurant important? That's question number one, okay? Are procedures in a restaurant important? Second question, is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Okay, so the questions are on page number 17 is discussion. So we are going to make, uh, a bit like bigger groups, okay? We are going to make groups of four or five, okay? The idea is that you take turns and discuss the questions, okay? I repeat, the idea is that you take turns in the groups and discuss the questions, okay? Any question before we start the discussion? So we are going to discuss in groups. So any question? No, nope. no. everything here. All right, so let's go yes. then and practice. Please take turns to discuss, okay? Okay.
was enrolling for this course. Como, como enrolling, what is the meaning? Okay. No fui inscrita para el, para el curso. ¿Qué? ¿Y entonces? No me avisaron, no sé. Ahorita le mandé un correo. Lo que pasa es que yo pedí, supuestamente iba a perder una semana porque estaba de viaje. Una semana, Ajá. dos días. Ya con una Ajá. semana, dos días, era bastante la pérdida. Entonces yo le Ajá. Y quedamos que me iban a inscribir como oyente para que no me sacaran del curso. Entonces, dije que sí, que estaba bien, ¿verdad? Sí. Y perdí menos, solo perdí cuatro días, porque regresé ah. y había eh, programado. Uh -huh. La cosa es que ayer no aparecía en la lista y les escribí Ajá, que, porque sí. no aparecía, que porque no aparecía y que tampoco tenía acceso a la plataforma. Uh -huh. Y hoy me dijeron que se les había olvidado, pero que no habían aprobado uh -huh. mi inscripción como oyente. Sí. Entonces, no. entonces Ah, entonces ahora les, estoy, les pregunté qué, qué va a pasar conmigo porque una compañera, pues en realidad María Elena me compartió el link y todo porque uh -huh. supuestamente yo estaba inscrita, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. entonces, que, que yo me he estado conectando a las clases porque una compañera me compartió la información, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero se supone que estaba inscrita. Entonces les Pregunté que si hay algún problema que me siga conectando o si ya no me tengo que conectar. O si, si ya me dicen que no, pues ni modo, vea. Ay, no, pero qué mala onda. Carla, Carla, why, why don't you text them? Creo que un, te un mensaje de texto, un WhatsApp sería como más, más efectivo que un correo. So why don't you... No, si you, me... you said, Jimmy was helping you, right? Jimmy te estaba ayudando sí. a ti. Sí, escríbele un mensajito a sí. ver qué te dice él. Uh -huh. Ajá. O sea, uh -huh. por lo menos si me dan permiso de que me siga conectando, pues yo voy a seguir conectando porque me dijeron que no estaba inscrita. O sea, llegamos a un arreglo que supuestamente me iban a inscribir, vea, como oyente. Pero uh -huh. dice, me puso en el correo que no me, que no lo aceptaron, que no lo aprobaron, pero oh, no hay, me avisaron. Hay que preguntar, no hay que preguntar entonces cuál es la solución que dan. Como tú dices, habla con ellos y pregúntales cuál es, a ver qué es lo que, qué es lo que puedes hacer. Okay. Sí, o sea, si me, si me permiten que me siga conectando, yo pues continúo la clase. Pero él, él, lo que sí me dijo él que me podían, si yo quería, me podían inscribir para el siguiente curso. Y sí, vea, yo pues, estoy disp dispuesta, pues, pero no sé si tengo que dejar de conectarme a este, aunque no me gustaría. Pues, pues, porque... Sí, entiendo. Sí, ahí sería y... con ello directamente la consulta. A ver si, si ah. te puedes seguir conectando o no. Uh -huh. Sí, para que Ajá. sí en este grupo. Sí, y la verdad es que yo mis planes eran que yo regresaba hasta el 11 de octubre, pero me regresé uh -huh. antes por el tema de las clases, solo perdí cuatro, creo. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero pues ya ni modo. Me regresé ay, antes no. y al final ni estaba inscrita. No, ay no. Sí, pero hola. sería bueno decirle eso a los de inglés para que lo tomen en cuenta. Sí, porque hasta pagué extra por regresarme por el tema no. del... Sí. Ni... sí, habla con ellos, ahí a ver qué, qué sugieren entonces en base a la situación. Uh -huh. Mañana le voy, le voy a llamar directamente a Jimmy, porque en realidad hoy no había revisado el correo hasta ahorita que vine, ya lo revisé y este, pues me encontré con eso. ¿ver? Ah, ok, ahí sí. Ok. Uh -huh. Bueno. Text them tomorrow. Uh -huh. <risa> Okay, okay, okay. Okay, guys. Okay, are, are procedures in a restaurant in a restaurant important? And yes, for me. Yes, they are. Question number two is a customer experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, because the emphasis of the brush. What is the pronunciation? Procedure. 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 Yeah. Procedure. Procedure could make 
customers feel comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. You can say comfortable. 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 Michelle out of the room. Okay, ask Angela one more time. Are procedure in a restaurant important? Yes. For example, that, when yes. dealing system change, um, only. Okay, is a customer experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, when they have not been organize the best way, for example, in my work, in my case. Okay. Only. Ask Osmin, please, Angela. Oh, don't ask me. Our procedures in our restaurant important? Yes, yes. It's very, very, very important. Okay. Is a cost of esos 15 días de incapacidad? Um. It's so difficult, so difficult uh, when you say, I don't want to go out because the virus is on the air in the restaurants where there are some crowded, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, also at work, in my case, because I go to the work every day. In your case, in your case Gloria, you work, uh, you, are, you, are, you have a homework, uh, how do you say homework? No. Yes. You work. Uh, you work at home. Home office. Home office. Home office. Home office. Yeah. office. Yeah, home office. But in my case, my boss was contagious. The two messengers was contagious, and it was very. Oh my god! <laughs> it was very stressful situation. <laughs> my goodness. <Wow. laughs> yes. Yes. It got very stressful, but thanks God, I'm here. I'm here and 15 days passed away and I didn't feel nothing. <laughs> you are, don't worry, Rosa, you are not the only one. In my place, we have five people who are, the, who are in the same situation, yeah. So it's what yes. we are living anyways. Es lo que estamos viendo ahorita, it's what we are living. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you, you, if you want to eat, Gloria, <laughs> I don't know. I need to work. I, yes. I um, <laughs> you have to. You have to prepare your own your own pasta. <laughs> With uh, langosta. With lobster. Oh, oh, lobster. <laughs> you have to prepare your lobster. <laughs> Delicious. I have lobsters in my fridge in this moment. <laughs> my God. Really? Yes. <laughs> I went, I went, I went, I went fishing on the weekend and I, and I caught like many lobsters. Okay. Oh. Yes. My God. <laughs> in Italy, it's so <laughs> difficult to find it in a supermarket. Yeah. In San Salvador, here in the East, it's very common, but they are expensive. 
it's so it's like seven dollars a pound i guess seven or eight dollars a pound la libra yeah. and the laughter is so uh, is very small yes it's true and and on the weekend yes. i caught two lobsters like which were one pound pesaban más de una libra cada una they were more than a pound <laughs> each Oh my God. <laughs> They're very big. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, big ones. <laughs> okay. All right, continue. I'm sorry <laughs> to interrupt you. <laughs> you finished? Yes, we finished. Ah, okay. Just yes. let me visit another group and then we, we go to the main station, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Joanna, yes. Are procedures in a restaurant import, important? Yes, I think it's very important the procedures in a restaurant because this helps to give better customer service. Okay, is a customer experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, because this helps the customer feel good and come back. Okay. And now, uh, John, uh, Adriana. Are procedures in a restaurant important, Adriana? Yes, they are because uh, help to be, be, be develop activities in an orderly manner. Okay. Maybe, so, sorry, sorry for the interruption. Maybe in this case, maybe you can say organize in an organized manner. Okay, in an organized manner. Organize. I think it's better. Mm -hmm. Organize. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Continue. Continue, Sandra. <laughs> okay. Um, is a customer experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, be, yes, it is because the customer are very important to the activities of a restaurant. Okay. Okay, okay did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. let's okay, let's go back to yes, the main teacher. session then. Okay, let's go to the main session then. Okay. Bye bye, girls. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, let's wait for the others. Nos habíamos quedado en el estadio, teacher. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Pero habían bien poquito, bueno, según estaba viendo una imagen hace un momento, hay poquitas personas en el estadio, ¿verdad? Como que no llenaron todo el estadio. Es probable sí, la lluvia. Por la lluvia. Oh sí, my bien. goodness. Llovió mucho. It rained a lot. Sí, es muy fuerte. Mm, I imagine. That's the reason why. Pero eso le conviene a la selecta, porque la mayoría pueden jugar en estadio mojado y en grama normal. Pero la gente no debe... Yeah, that, that was the problem, maybe. That's ¿Y si why Ramón it... a cero? ¿O ya uh, me I don't know. Darwin, ¿cómo vamos? How are we going? <laughs> One, zero. One zero. One zero. ¿Qué minuto van? Yeah. Which, which minute? Eh, ¿Entre tiempo? Ah, ok. Ok, they are in, in half time. Half time, in half time. Okay, very good. So let me pass you the attendance quickly and then we continue with the next, well, I will ask some people the, the questions, okay? So let's see, let me pass the attendance. Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Ana Michel? Present. Angela? Present teacher. Darwin? Present estadio. <laughs> Present teacher. Flor? Gloria? Here. Joanna? 
Joanna. Hello there. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Lourdes. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Margarita. Mayra. Present. Miguel. Nelson. Present. Very good. Ofelia. Here, teacher. All right. Osmin. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rafa. Present. Rosa. Rosa. Is Rosa connected? Yes, right. She has problems. You have you still have problems with the audio, Rosa. No sé por qué tiene yes, problemas con el audio. Problems. Okay. Now I can hear you. Okay, let's listen to let's see okay. Sandra. Hi. Present teacher. All right, Jancy. Present. Tulma. Here. Okay, Asalia. Asalia was connected. I don't know what happened at the beginning. Uh, she was connected. Present teacher. Oh my goodness, Asalia, Asalia you're here, Asalia. <laughs> Where are you, Asalia? Okay, Ingrid. And Susana. Susana, is Susana connected? No, right? No. All right. Uh, okay, so uh, we have the questions here, the discussion questions. And question number one is, are procedures in a restaurant sure. important? Yes? Eh, le envié un mensaje tempranito a, a usted. Okay, I will check in a moment. Thank you. Okay. I haven't checked my phone, sorry. Okay. I was playing with my little boy, so I, I haven't checked my phone. I will check in a moment, okay? Thank and you. the second question is, is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures, okay? So let's see, volunteers, volunteers, who wants to answer the questions? Volunteers? Oh my goodness. Make sure, me too. Okay, Osmin and then Darwin, Osmin. Okay, are yes. procedures in a restaurant important? Yes, it's very, very important. All right. Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, it's affected uh, when the customer no have information. Okay. When, procedures. Yeah. Okay, when the customer has information, it's important. It's important, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you very much, Osmin. Thank you. Okay, Darwin, are procedures in a restaurant important? Uh, yes, they are. Okay. Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, why the procedure depends on the service you will recite. Okay, so the, the service depends on the procedures, okay? To have a good service, you need good procedures. Yes. Yes, that's the idea. Okay, thank you very much. That's right. Okay, it's correct. Let's listen to a last participation. Volunteers. Ultima participación. Last participation. Volunteers. Nobody. Me, teacher. Joanna. Okay, Joanna. Are procedures in a restaurant important? Yes, I think it's very important, the procedures in a restaurant, because this helps to give better customer service. Okay, that's right. Thank you. Good answer. Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, because this helps the customer feel good and come back. All right, that's right. It's, it's definitely true, right? This helps the customer feel good and they come back later. Okay, thank you very much for answering the questions okay now let's go to the next activity so listen listen carefully here uh, in the next activity we have some vocabulary and this vocabulary these are we continue talking about restaurants okay i know your expertise is not about restaurants or hay alguien aquí que trabaja en restaurante anybody here who works in a restaurant nobody no nobody Okay, so no. I know your expertise is not in restaurants, okay? But anyways, we have to study this about restaurants. So listen, two things. First, you need to number the six steps. We have six steps. You need to number the steps a waiter follows to take and serve another. What do you think is step number one? 
step number two, step number three, okay? So please take a moment and decide. Step number one, and you write the step. Step number two, and you write the step. Si no tienen la copia, lo hacen en su cuaderno. Number one, y escriben el, el, el paso. You write the step, okay? If you have the photocopy, si tienen la fotocopia, only write the number next to the word, okay? So waiters follow these steps, okay? To take orders or serve. Page teacher. It's page number 17. Page number okay. 17, okay? Okay. Teacher. Yeah. What mean greet? Saludo. Greet, saludar. Ah, okay. Saludar, okay. saludar el cliente, greet the customer. What's meaning is step teacher? Step, step is paso. Steps is pasos. Steps a waiter step. follows uh -huh. pasos. Yes, yes, you need to organize the steps. The waiter, okay, the waiter follows to take or serve an order in the restaurant, okay? What steps do they follow, waiters? Los menseros, what steps do they follow? So what is number one, number two? So you need to put the steps in order. You need to put the steps in order to serve food, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Did, you, did you organize the steps? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so the steps are on page number 17. Okay, listen. Listen carefully here and pay attention, okay? In this moment, we are going to go, we are going to work in groups, okay? And in the groups, 
you are going to share how um how you organize the steps okay how you organize the steps but listen for these for this you need to use this structure okay you, you can say for example okay imagine when you talk to your to your group cuando hablen cuando compartan when you share you will say for example uh, first okay uh, first pay attention to this first um a waiter has and then you say the sentence, okay? For examples, you can say, oh, I think, you say, right? Imagine now I am practicing with you. So I say, I think first a waiter has to seat the customers, okay? First, a waiter has to see the customers. Or maybe you can say, first, a waiter has to serve the food. I don't know, okay? I'm just giving you examples, okay? I think first, a waiter has to serve the food. Okay, un mesero tiene que, okay, first. Then you continue, you say, second, all right, second, then you can say, third, you can say, uh, next, all right, next, you can say, then, luego, then, and for the last step, y para el último paso, van a decir, finally, okay, finally. So you say, first, a waiter has to serve the food. Second, um, a waiter has to greet customers. Third, a waiter has to serve the food, for example. Finally, a waiter has to say goodbye. I don't know, okay? Yeah, is it clear what you, how you have to practice? Está claro cómo van a practicar? Is it clear how you have to practice? Yeah? Yes. yes so it's basically, it's basically yes. about how you organize the steps. Van a seguir el orden que tienen, okay? You are going to follow the order you have. Si quieren, hagan una captura para que tengan eso. You can make a screenshot. Para que lo tengan a la mano. Make a screenshot. Ready? Did you make the screenshot? ¿Ya hicieron la captura? Yes? Yes. All right. Uh, then we are going to go and we are going to practice in groups. And we are going to compare, okay? If you have different order, if you have different order, discuss why. Discutan porque si tienen un orden diferente, okay? Discuss why you have a different order. But I repeat, the idea is to discuss in English, not in Spanish. So try. I can intentar. You have to try, okay? Any question? No? No questions? Uh, it's it's clear, Sorry? Sorry? Uh, okay, let me make it before you, you go then. Let me make the screenshot. Let, let me put the, share the screen, sorry. There you go, Asalia, there you have. Ahí está. Other, other screen, other? Ah, for the others, for the steps, para los pasos. For, for the steps. Ah, okay. Please. Okay, hold on a second. Here are the steps. Yes, thank you. Okay, no problem. Okay. Ready? Now let's go to practice then. <risa> Vamos a San Miguel. Sí, así es. 
Y el teacher de la unión, ¿verdad? Tampoco ah, conozco. Nos reunimos ahí. Morazán. Morazán. Yes. No conozco el teacher. Morazán, pero la oriente papá. no conozco. That's right. <laughs> I am, I am originally from San Miguel, but I live in Morazán, okay? Sorry? Nos han invitado a San Salvador. En serio, really? Yes. So we have to go. Yes. Okay. Buenas noches a San Salvador. Okay. First, I went wider. Has to pay the customer. Second. <laughs> um, I think the second wider has to set the customer. Yes or no? Um, continue. Yes. <laughs> sir, sir, a wire has to take customer order next, compares the order, and then can. ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra, Alex? Enter the food correct. Can you repeat it, please? Enter. Enter. No sé. Where, what step is Can it? ¿Qué pasó es? Enter the food account. What step is it? Okay, let me check. Okay. I don't have the steps. Um, handle. Handle the food correctly. Handle the food correctly. Handle. Handle is like handle. manejar. Okay. Handle. Handle the food correctly. Okay. Well, I think it's the last one. Yes. And finally, a writer has to service the food. Yes. Yes. I, I, I think a waiter has to the first um win the customer the second uh save la mesa todos uh -huh. And finally, waiter serve, serve the food. Mm -hmm. oh, serve the food. And finally, the waiter or the waiter serve the food. A waiter has to serve the food. Mm -hmm. And finish. Hola. Hola. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> okay. Finally, the activity. You we what's the what's we can see the the game. Están más en el juego que aquí, teacher. Oh my goodness! No, I don't think so. Hoy Darwin rápido dio las respuestas para desocuparse pronto. Yeah. The, the exercise is is very easy. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Ah, sí, ahora está la camisa. So did every did everyone finish? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Let me visit another group. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you. Okay.
teacher to late. We finished. Did you finish? <laughs> yes, we finished. Okay, so we are uh okay. So everybody this everybody share, do you have the same um this the same order of the steps? Yes. Yes, okay. Let me visit the other group and then we go, all right, to the main session. The last group. Okay. 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 I think question is correct. I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. Por eso right. yo le decía de que uh -huh. eh, for me uh -huh. estos pasos son cuando ya entraste al restaurante y que ya te dijeron vaya eh, para cuánto es la mesa ya te dicen vaya pase. Entonces creo que es, es, se puede de las dos formas cada quien como lo interprete. Yes. Yes. So you have different order. Que la and, yes. And, uh, Tools in the first and second step. Yeah, in seat and greet. Wow. And see the customers and greet the customers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, but for in my case, Why? when I, I, I arrive in the, in the restaurant, in the inn, the, the waiter is, is great, is great the customer okay. and the client. Yes. Yeah, it's correct. Next pass. Yes. You see the next. You see the the customers. Uh -huh. it, it depends yeah. on your on your idea, right? On yes. your perspective, or yes. it depends on the restaurant you go to. Okay, okay. So you did you finish Score. discussing? Did you finish discussing? Yeah. Did, did you finish? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back to the main station. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay, everyone. So I guess everybody finished uh, discussing. So we are going to listen to uh, to some opinions and we are going to see the order you have, okay? Let's listen first to uh, somebody who hasn't participated, okay? So let's listen to, um, let me see here. Let's listen to, to um, Nelson, okay, Nelson. Can you share the order you have, please? You say first, okay, using the steps. First, okay. uh, waiter, For master. Me, okay. Uh, Okay, I start. Uh, for me, uh, the first is a wider uh, rate the custom customer. It is greet. second greet, 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 and yeah, greet, greet. Sorry, uh, greet the the customer. The second, see the customer. Okay, here, take the order. Okay, next, confirm the order. After that, hand the food. Uh, and finally, server the food. Okay, okay, that's very good. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Now let's listen to somebody else to see if they have the same order or different order. Okay, let's listen to a girl. Okay, Gloria, can you share, please? Okay. Uh, first, read the customer. Second, feed the customer. Uh, search, take customer order. Uh, next, uh, confirm the order. Then, uh, handle the food correctly. And final, uh, serve the food. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gloria. Okay, uh, so basically, uh, Gloria has the same or different uh, order of steps as Nelson. Does Gloria have Gloria? Sorry, has this have the same or different order as Nelson? The same, the same, the same order. That's all right, the same, the same order. order. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Who has a different order of steps? Who has a different order of steps? Nobody. Everybody has the same order. Yes. 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 Adriana. Everybody. Adriana. Okay, Adriana. Can you share, please? Mm -hmm. It's different. Yes, and first a waiter has to 
and serve the customer. The second, grade the customer. Third step, take customer order. Oh, okay. Can you, re next, can, you, can you repeat the first two, please, again? The first uh, two steps. First? Uh, first, seat. seat okay, the seat the customers. Okay. Second, grade the customer. Okay. Third, take customer order. Uh, next, take customer, next, uh, confirm the order. Um, five. Finally. And then, no, then, then, then. No, then okay, okay. Then, and then step, handle the food correctly. And finally, they serve the food. Okay, serve the food. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, so basically, uh, she has different steps, right? So I, I think uh, in the end, it depends, right? It depends on your point of view. But if you ask me, uh, the first step is to greet the customers, right? Uh, I don't know if you have been to La Pizza Hut. First, they say, good morning, come in, or good afternoon, come in. And then they seat you, all right? They take you to the place and they seat you. So that's, I feel that's the best order. But again, I repeat, it depends on the restaurant maybe, okay? It depends on that, on the restaurant, okay? So thank you very much, everybody, for discussing. And please, everyone, Go to reactions and let's give a like for the participations, okay? Go to reactions and let's give a like for the participations. Okay, thank you, Nelson, Gloria, and Adriana, right? Thank you very much for uh, sharing. Good, uh, now we are going to continue with the next activity. Listen, in the next activity, we have some vocabulary. And in the vocabulary, you need to look up definitions. Definitions, not translations, okay, definitions. Okay, definitions. For the definitions, you can go to the Cambridge Dictionary, Cambridge Dictionary, or you can go to the Word Reference Dictionary on the cell phone, right? Word Reference Dictionary. And I repeat, I don't need translations. I need definitions in English for the words. Definitions in English for the vocabulary. Well. Si quieren buscar la traducción, está bien. Okay, it's okay, but I need the definition. Pero yo lo que necesito es la definición. What I need is the definition, okay? For this, you are going to work in pairs, okay? You are going to work in pairs. And we need definitions for these words. Handle, confirm, payment, reading, and notify. This is exercise number three on page number 17. Exercise number three on page number 17, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we need definitions, I repeat. All right, and for this, we are going to work in pairs, okay? So let's work in pairs. And write the definitions, please. Escriben las definiciones todos. Write the definitions, please. All right, let's go to, let's go to look up the definitions. Any question, Mayra? No? Everything okay? I see your face was like, oh my God. Okay, I saw your face was like, oh my God. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay. Definition de handle. 
resolver sería la primera. Handle. Handle. Pero lo ando buscando porque dice a part of an object designed for holding, moving o carrying the object. You need to look it as a verb, ¿ok? Necesitamos buscarlo como verbo. As a verb. Ese, verb? Es, ese es como un sustantivo, sería como verbo, as a verb, ¿ok? Ah. Uh -huh. Ahí le va a aparecer una, una B. Uh -huh. Ok. Todo es como verbo, entonces. Sí. Let, me, let me see if all of them are as verbs. No, no. Handle is as a verb. Confirm as a verb. Payment as a noun. Greeting as a noun and notify as a verb. Verb. Okay. Uh -huh. Handler sería English. Ya le digo. Ah. Ver. Feel or manipulate with the hand. Handler. Uh -huh. you, can check the, the, you can check the translation, but I need the definition. Okay, solo para que sepan pueden verificar la traducción, pero lo que yo okay. necesito es la, la, la definición. Ok. Uh, find literally a solution or an answer to, the, to a problem. Is correct? Ah, uh, pero handle es feel. Or manipulate with the hand. Así está bien. Sentir o manipular con las manos. Para mí sería como. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. No. O no. Handle. Handle, it's no. okay. That definition is okay. Okay. Feel or manipulate with the hand. Okay. Eh, Gloria, lo, lo alcanzaste a, a escribir. Feel or manipulate with the hand. Sentir o manipular con las manos. Bueno, ¿qué significa handle? Es que handle es como cuando chocan las manos, ¿verdad? Sí. It's like manejar. Manejar, ah. Mm -hmm. To handle a situation, for example. Papi. Teacher, yo lo encontré como resolver, no es así. Preséntenos al niño. <laughs> a ratito se lo voy a poner en la cámara. I will put it on the camera. Hola. I will put him on the camera. <laughs> He just comes to us. So what was, uh, what was your question, Gloria? Sorry. Eh, yo lo encontré como resolver. Ah, pero mm -hmm. ese es como la traducción. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, handle is like manejar una situación. Handle a situation. It's like handle. manage. Uh -huh. It's a Entonces, synonym to manage. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, find, finding a solution or answer to a problem. Mm, I like that definition. Uh -huh. Let me look for another one to see what I have. Okay. Okay. Continue with the others. Okay. okay. Confirm. Establish the true or correctness of, uh, or correctness of something previously believed, suspect, or fired to be the case. Está, está largo ser así. <laughs> está un poquito largo. I have one that is, I have one definition that is better for handle. Manage a situation or problem. Manage a situation or problem. I think what Gloria was saying, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, manage. Manage a situation or problem. I can handle, you, for example, you can say, I can handle the situation, or I, I can handle the problem. Puedo manejar el problema o lidiar con, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Confirm. Confirm. 
establish the true or correctness. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Establish the next word. The next word is reading. 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 An act or an act or word of, word of welcoming. Welcoming. Okay. Finish, Ada. Ya finish. Eh, other greeting, great, great. Eh, saludo, ¿verdad? Si hemos estado la otra es bien larga o, o sea pudiera ser eh, action action of mm, eh, great eh, 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 sí porque es la, una es palabra o expresión gesto o cualquier otro acto que, que una persona dirige a alguien cuando se encuentra o se despide dando muestras de atención, cortesía o afecto. Sí. Check the definition in English. Okay. Look, look for the definition yes, in English. Yes, 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 yes. I think it's better because if not, you will have to translate from Spanish to English. I think it's better if you have the English definition, okay? Sí. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, word expression um, Por expression, gesture or any other act that a person did it to someone they meet or say goodbye, something, attention, attention, or affection, affection, affection. Esa, ¿verdad? Pues sí. Porque es la más, la más, este, entendible, o sea, la más que da el, el, la, la, la definición más acertada. Yes, ah, pues word, expression, word, coma, expression. Yes, finish teacher. Sorry, sorry. Do you have definitions, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. That's excellent. Okay, let me visit another pair and then we leave. Okay, teacher. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, typically. Así es, ¿verdad, teacher? Typical, yeah, typically. 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 Uh, typically. 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 Yeah, typically. Uh -huh, typically. A, okay. <laughs> typically in a formal or official manner. Mm -hmm. In which definition are you in this moment? Uh, uh, notify. Oh, notify, the last one. The last one, yes. Okay, okay, continue, please. Okay. 
but you have the definition for notify. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. the, the, the definition is, well, I find uh, the definition that is inform someone of something. Okay. Typically in a formal or official manner. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. That word is very formal, actually. Uh-huh. Yeah. Notify, uh-huh. Okay. So let's go to the main session then. Okay. Okay. Uh, does everybody have the definitions? Does everybody have the definitions? Yes. 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 All, all right. So, okay, yeah, let, let's see. Uh, we are going to start then. Okay. For the first definition, uh, you say the word and the definition. Okay. We are going to listen to somebody. If you want, say the definition and you can say it in Spanish at the end. At the end. All right. But first, the word, the definition. Y si aún así no, 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 no tenemos una idea, or, or if we want to say it in Spanish, we say it in Spanish, okay? At the end, okay? So let's listen to definition number one, okay? Let's listen to um, Rafael, definition number one, word and definition, okay? Okay. Handle. Handle. Part of a... Handle. 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 handle, 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 yeah, handle, part of a thing made to be taken, taken, or held, or, or held by the hand. Okay, you have it as a noun, right? Lo, tú lo tienes como un sustantivo, you have it as a noun. Okay, thank you, Rafael. So, and what translation do you have in Spanish? Did you find any translation in Spanish? Eh, una, una parte de algo para no no I mean that's the definition no I mean a, a word in Spanish resolver. for that resolver okay is okay. resolver resolver o manejar all right manipular manipular yes yes okay yes Rafa the definition is okay but the definition you have is as a noun como un sustantivo as a noun okay Let's listen to another definition, but as a verb, como un verbo, as a verb, because this is a verb. Este es un verbo acá. This is a verb here. Thank you, Rafael. Who has the, the same definition, but as a verb? Yes, me, teacher. Okay, Lourdes. Okay, let's listen to Lourdes. Let's listen carefully. Uh, it's an action that the person manipulated with hand, the full or middles. Okay, it's an action that, repeat it please, it's an action that? It's an action that the person manipulated with hand the food or meals. Okay, so handle food, for example, handle something, handle a ditch. Very good, thank yes. you. That's, that's one definition, okay? That's related to food. Do we have another definition? As a bird. Me. Okay, Anna, Me. Anna Michelle, let's listen to Anna Michelle. Yes, handle. Uh, it means when you manipulate something with your hand or everything you do with your hands. All right, so everything you do. So in this, you can say, for example, I'm handling a pen, right? I'm handling a pen, all right? Manipulate something with your hands. I'm handling my water. Hand. Okay, do we have another definition, a different definition? Yes, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, Osmin, let's listen to Osmin first. Okay, the word hand. Definition, manipulate, sometimes with your hand. Oh, okay. It's, it's kind of similar to Anna Michelle's definition, right? Okay, to manipulate yeah. something with your hands. Okay, yeah. thank you yeah. very much, Osmin. Uh, Mayra, do you have something different? Yes. Okay, what do you have? Handle. To deal yeah. with or be in charge of something. Okay. To deal with or be in charge of something. I like it of better. It's like, to, I had to, it's like to handle... A situation okay to handle a situation or problem okay thank you very much so we have different definitions so the idea in spanish is manipular or manejar but it's important to listen to definitions okay so thank you very much let's go to the second definition 
Uh, let's listen to uh, Lourdes, second word. Okay, confirm. It's an answer that the waiter wait of the customers to know if he take order of the way correct. All right, it's an action to see if the order is correct. Okay, summarizing, like paraphrasing. Okay, very good. Yeah, it's, I want to confirm the order. Okay, thank you very much. And let's listen to the other definition. In Spanish, is lower this. In Spanish, eh, es, una, es una respuesta no, no. que... I mean, not the definition, only one word, one translation, una traducción, one translation. Ah, okay. eh, confirmar. Okay, that's very easy, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see number three. Okay, thank you very much, Lourdes. Number three. Let's listen to uh, Darwin with number three. Number three. Yes. Excitement. Uh, something paid on amount fat. Okay, very good. Something paid on amount paid. Mm -hmm. I don't get the last part. Something paid amount uh, paid amount paid. B okay. So yeah, let's say something paid, all right? A payment. Uh, okay, yes. money. Okay, something paid. Okay, your money paid. All right, very good. Thank you very much, Darwin. Do we have another definition? Payment. Okay. No? No? A payment. No. Yeah, payment is basically the money that you give in exchange of a service or a product, right? Payment, okay? So the payment of the bills, for example, okay? Payment or the payment you receive at the end of the month when you work or at the end of the 15 days, okay? So payment. Okay. payment. No, 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 listen, okay. listen. Payment is pago, pay is pagar. Payment, payment. is pago, payment, okay, it's payment. It's not a verb, no, it's a verb, it's not a verb, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, okay. let's, yeah, let's listen to number four. Uh, let's listen to um, Jansi. Yo la anterior le iba a decir es que la tratan de completar. <laughs> okay, so you don't have number four. No? No, he completado la tres, se lo puedo decir. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's listen then to, to let me see Sandra. Sandra, do you have number four? Great, great, greetings or greetings? Greeting, greeting, uh -huh, greeting, greetings. Okay, is a polite word or sign of welcome? Okay, is a polite word or sign of welcome? welcome. Or sign of welcome, welcome. Yeah, that's okay. It's a sign of welcome, like greeting, like good morning. It's a sign of welcome, hello, all right? It's a sign of welcome. In Spanish, is saludo, right? Greeting, okay? Thank you very much, Lord. Uh, it's a Sandra, formal sorry. expression. It's a formal expression, exactly, a greeting. Okay, it's a formal expression, a greeting. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's listen to the... Dar la bienvenida a alguien. Yes, yes. In a greeting, you say the welcome or the... Okay, so that's greeting, okay? Okay, let's listen to the last definition. Let's listen to uh, Rosa. Do you have the definition, Rosa, for the last word? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, no. Okay, uh, let me... Notify, uh, to inform someone officially about something. Okay, to inform something officially about? About something. Something to notify. Okay, very yeah. good. Uh, do we have another definition for this word? <coughs> no? It's communicate. It's like yeah. to communicate, to notify. Okay, it's, uh, listen, notify is a very formal word. Notify is a very formal word, okay? Notify, okay? So we have the different vocabulary here. And now, um, let me pass the attendance quickly and we go to the last activity, okay? Le paso asistencia rápidamente y vamos a una última actividad. And we go to a last activity. Okay, let's see, Ada? Present. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Uh, por cierto, ¿quién tiene la sesión 1 a 1 este día? <coughs> ¿Quién tiene la sesión 1 a 1 este día? Nadie, nobody. 
¿No recuerdan? You don't remember? No, no, teacher. Ok, vaya, voy a verificar ahorita antes de que se me vayan a desconectar. Ok, let's see. Flor, pero Flor no está presente. ¿Alguien desea tomar eh, el espacio de Flor? ¿Somebody? Ya va a haber terminado el partido para esa hora, creo yo. <ríe> It's okay, don't worry. Yo sé que todos están pendientes del partido. And it's okay, no problem. I mean, la selecta is playing. ¿Alguien que quiera tomar el espacio de Flor? ¿Somebody? ¿Nobody? Ok. <ríe> ok, very good. Ok, I will continue with the attendance. ¿Adriana? Present. ¿Ana Michelle? Present, present. Ok. ¿Ángela? Present, teacher. No estoy oh. en el partido. <laughs> She's very sincere. Ok, yes. let's see. Uh, Darwin. Present, teacher. All right. Yo sí estoy viendo el partido. <laughs> All right, Flor. Hasta con la camisa la selectando. Yes, I can see that. Okay, Flor is not present. Gloria? Here. Okay, that's excellent. Joanna? <clears throat> I'm here, teacher. All right, very good. Lourdes? Here, teacher. Okay, that's excellent. Margarita? All right. Mayra? Present. Okay, very good. Miguel? Miguel? All right, Miguel went to see La Selecta today. Miguel is watching the party. Okay, he's watching the game, okay. Miguel is at the stadium. No le importó la lluvia, Miguel, ahora. He didn't care about yeah. the rain. <laughs> okay, Nelson? Here, teacher. Okay. Ophelia? Here, teacher. Okay, very good. Osmin? Here, teacher. Rafael? Present. Okay. Rosa? Present. All right, very good. Sandra? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jansi? Present. Okay. Sulma? Present. Okay, very good. Asalia? Present, good night. Good night, almost, almost. Ingrid? <laughs> <laughs> and Susana. Okay, very good. Uh, so we have four minutes uh, to, to finish. Okay, uh, so we are going to try to, to start the last activity for today. Okay, let me let me share the screen here. So listen, uh, in this last activity, okay, let me share here. In this last activity, uh, you have, this is in pairs, okay? Uh, here, you have um, the question. Well, we have the question here, okay? Which of the following uh, are the most common problems, okay, from this? Which are the most common problems with service you have experienced in a restaurant, okay? When you have gone to a restaurant, okay, what are the problems that you have experienced, the most common problems from this, okay, you have experienced, okay? So please... Take, a, take some time and check quickly. Tomen un espacio y pongan un, cheque, pongan un chequecito a los problemas que han experimentado. Ok. When you go to a restaurant. Ok, teacher. Ok. Let's do it. Just put a check, ok? Ok. And if you don't have the photocopy, write them. Si no tienen la fotocopia, lo, lo, los escriben. If you don't have the photocopy, you write them, ok? Ok. All right.
end the game. How was the score? Yeah. ¿Cómo quedó el resultado? El Salvador won Panamá Ciru. Yes. Wow. That's the way. Very yeah. good. I'm very happy. Sueño, teacher. Yes, me too. Ahora no voy a dormir. I won't sleep today. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are not sleeping today. Oh my the goodness. Next game, the Sunday. It's with against Costa Rica, right? At four. Yeah. Yes. yes. In Costa Rica. It's in Costa Rica, yeah. Against Costa Rica. 4 p.m. o'clock. Yeah. Eso sí lo vamos a ver todos. Para eso sí les doy permiso. <laughs> <laughs> I give you permission for that one. The Wednesday is against Mexico. Mexico. Here, right? Yes. Local. Yes. Yeah. The Cuscatlan. Yeah. Cuscatlan Stadium. Okay, give me a minute. Yes. I need the... Okay, so uh, did you check the problems that you have experienced? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, we are going. To, we are going to talk about the problems only. Okay. You are going to share only. Okay. I'm just trying to, to look for the material here. Okay, give me a minute. Okay. Um. Let's see. I will ask some of you, and then um. And then we we finish the class. Okay. This is the last part. All right. Let's see. Um. Let's start with um. Let me see somebody who hasn't participated today. Everybody has participated today, even if you have watched the game. Okay, uh, let's listen to, um, let me see here, Sulma. Hello, Sulma, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Sulma. <laughs> okay, Sulma, um, what is uh, the most common issue that you have experienced in a restaurant? Or the most common issues or issue? The most is the food takes too long to be served after ordering. That's right. The food takes too long to be served after ordering. That's right. Do you have another uh, issue that you have experienced? Another problem? Yes. Uh, the dish yes. you want to order is not uh, available, but it appears <coughs> in the menu. In the menu. The dish is on the menu, but it's not available at the moment. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, I guess everybody has experienced that, right? Thank you very much, Sulma. Okay, let's listen to, um, let me see here. Let me see here. Ophelia. Okay, Ophelia. Ophelia, so which, uh, which of, the, of these issues have you experienced in a record? I did with great you put you this not at four. Okay, that's his number. Ah, it's number one. The waiter gets it's one food you did not ask for. It's right. So you ask for something and they serve something different. Okay, thank you very much. Do you have another issue, Ophelia? Me. Do you have another issue that you have experienced? Not to check. Only one. Okay, thank you very much, Ophelia. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to a last participation. Let's listen to a last participation. Volunteers? Okay, Angela. Okay, Angela, which of the following are the most common issues uh, with service you have experienced in a restaurant? In my case, the food takes too long to be served after ordering it. Exactly, the food takes too long to be served after ordering it. Thank you very much, ordering it. Do you have another issue that you have experienced? The dish you want to order in those available 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 but it appears how much appears it appears, appears listed in the menu exactly okay thank you very much okay it's 10 3 already and i want to say thank you very much for connecting i know the the match was very important okay yo sé que el juego era muy importante i know the match was very important okay so but thank you very much for connecting i appreciate okay you connecting today. So thank you, everybody. Uh, Rafael, do you have a question? I'm going to take the one session. Sorry? I, I, I go, I'm i going to take the one session. 
Oh, okay. Rafael is going to take the section one on one. So we talk one. to uh, Floor later. Okay. So you change. You are going to change with Floor. Okay. Thank you, Rafael. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for connecting today. Good night. Take okay. care. Good, Good, night. Night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 See you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>
ok, igual que could solo ah. que le pongo want y le pongo like so, en español diríamos uh, tú podrías querer tener tú podrías querer tener un, event, un gran evento promocional con una gran celebridad so, and this is polite, it's more formal es de una forma más educada ok, ya, le estoy sugiriendo esto quizás a un jefe o a un manager o en este caso to the rector, to the vice rector, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Y la for, de, de fórmula, la estructura, el sujeto, luego my one o my like. Y luego aquí lleva tú, el verbo, to have. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity, ¿ok? Now let's check the next example. You might like, te podría gustar, to schedule. You might like to schedule. Te podría gustar agendar un evento promocional, ok, and then the complement, right? Along a holiday like Black Friday, yeah? My like, and then to schedule. El verbo lleva to, después de like o de want, ok? Y esto es more polite. You might like to schedule a promotional event along a holiday like Black, like Black Friday, ok? Yes? There, there are three, three verbs. Among, among three verbs, my want to have. Yes, I mean, my want, I mean, the most important is my want or my like. The verb next doesn't matter. It can be any verb. The verb next to like or want is any verb. Después del verbo que va después de want or like puede ser cualquier verb. It can be any verb. En español como que queda raro la traducción, pero me imagino que en inglés ellos yes. toman como... Dos nada más. Podría tener, quizás. Sí, sí, exactamente. Uh -huh. yes. No lo tendría así como nosotros podría querer. Exactamente, exactamente. Sí, porque en español como que no tiene mucho sentido. Ajá. Teacher, el uso del so. So. Es, ¿qué, qué, ¿Cuántos usos tiene el so? So. Uh, mostly so, el so, ok, let me, this is ok, this is clear now. Yes, yes. Ok, very good. El so es un, uh, we call, I can call it an intensifier. Uh, so es un intensifier. I can, call it, uh, I can call it an intensifier. Es como para darle un realce más fuerte a lo que estoy diciendo, en este caso a un adjetivo o a un adverbio, ok. Uh, she was so happy yesterday, for example. She was so happy yesterday. Y eso es, es un, estoy dándole como más intensidad al adjetivo y es algo positivo. She was so happy yesterday. Ok, the food was so good in the restaurant. The food was so good. So the intention is positive. La intención es una idea positiva, positive idea, ok. Or the teacher was so kind, for example. Ok, the student it's was, up. yes. For example, yeah, it's ok. It's a formal word. No, no. Here it doesn't matter. I, I want to write the, about whatever topic. Yes, that's not, that's not formal and it's not informal. I mean, it's a neutral word. Because uh, why the uh, American people, when they talk, Use the so, so. Yeah. Ah, but that's another, another thing. Ese so, ajá, ok. Ese so significa y es como para agregar información. Es una coordinating conjunction. Es una, como una conjunción. Es como para unir otra oración. So, I want to tell you something. Así que quiero decirte algo. Así que, so. So, uh, I think she's coming today. How do you say muletilla in English? Um, I, I don't know. I can say maybe a repetitive, a repetitive word. I don't know if that, that word exists in English. No sé si muletilla existe, la palabra en sí en inglés. Creo que hay una palabra gramaticalmente hablando que no es lo mismo, pero no, no la tengo en la mente ahorita. I don't have it in mind. Ah, pero no, no sé si eso puede. ¿Cuál te aparece? Ah, T-A-G. T A I -E. e. I have to check. The, tendría que revisar. I have to check to see a, a best, the best word for that. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. 
Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, but but so yes, it's right. Okay, it's like a kind of word Americans use when they want to to pause cuando se quieren pausar para decir otra cosa o cuando quieren agregar otra cosa. When 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 they want to add something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Teacher, siempre voy a sí unos días que bueno ayer sí me conecté ya tarde y, y la otra vez porque andaba en la calle y como estaba lloviendo no me agarró la señal en la calle en un momento pero Sí voy a intentar máximo por lo menos de a las 8 estar conectado y por rápido ven, estaría viniendo 8.40, 8.50. A veces organizamos todo para que yo no tenga que salir, pero así como ahora. Igual haré lo posible por siempre tratar de quedarme, pero a veces sí no voy a poder. Y andaré en, de, en la calle y voy a, al, al venir a la casa ya me conecto. Ok. Sí. Ok, thank you for informing el tiempo, la asistencia. Ok, it's okay. Sí, ahí, te, ahí, te pregunt, ahí te preguntaba si gustara que te informara de tu situación, que, que informara de tu situación en inglés corporativo por cualquier cosa. Yes, please, it's better. Ok, very good. Ok, thank you very much, Rafa. Thank you for taking floor space. Ok. Good night. Ok, good night, goodbye and take care.